Hello, everybody. Um, hopefully, some of you know me, but if, in case if you are not, um, I'm the CEO of Aurora Labs, the development company behind Aurora. And Aurora, in short, is the EVM compatibility layer on top of New Year Protocol, something that allows you to launch your Web3 stack on top of more performant, modern L1 solution. And um, I would like to start my talk today with two numbers, 1.2 trillion US dollars and 2.66 trillion US dollars. The first one is the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies at the moment as of today's morning. And the second one is the valuation of a single company in this world. Web2 company, an ordinary digital company that many of you, and the, the, which products many of you are using. And with this stuff, the only thing that I can say, what the heck, what is happening? We are a giant industry, but we are not able to keep up even with a single company after 10 years of development. And take a look at Apple 10 years ago. iPhone just entered the market. They started to pick up things. However, they were very, very, very behind many other players that are there. So my convictions and the things that I believe in is that the reason why this mass adoption is not happening is because blockchain is like quantum mechanics. It is very, very disruptive. It is very, very different. It is actually speaks different terms. In quantum mechanics, you have the probabilities. You don't know where things are located and what is the, the velocity of the, of the particles. I believe that blockchains are going to revolutionize the way how people think about the world. They are going to change absolutely the language on which people are speaking with each other. I think all of the businesses, especially digital businesses that have been uh, undergoing the digital revolution, uh, they are going to undergo blockchain revolution. But it doesn't mean that they are going to have everything on the blockchain. They are just going to use blockchain as a means of introducing trust. And for sure, blockchain is not the core of their businesses. Blockchain is just the feature that is going to bring these additional things to the businesses. And I can tell you even more that Web2 right now is much, much more ready for the Web3 and integration of the Web3 technologies in their stack than it was in 2015 when I started uh, at the crypto. And instead of us, fighting and fighting with Web2 and uh, trying to disrupt them, I believe that everything is going to be turned around. And it is a Web2 that is going to enable the Web3 revolution of the world. So I think that we need to grow up, learn how to speak with uh, Web2 and, and help and give them solutions that are going to help their business models. So. And what a normal business needs, right? It needs to put down uh, in their papers budgets. So they need to understand what is the operational expenditures. They would like to be able, just in case something is wrong, to switch the provider so they don't need to have a vendor lock-in. They need their solution, this new solution that you are su supplying to them to be connected to everything that they have already. They don't want their business model to be disrupted because they're a successful business, they have in revenues, and everything is okay. They want to grow it or reduce the cost, but there is no disruption that they want to undergo. They want to fast iterate, and Alex Kiyoki was talking about this just a minute ago, and they would like to be serviced well, especially within the, something that is absolutely new. And they would like to also be compliant. They would like to understand that uh, they are going to exist as a business tomorrow. And um, some, some guy is not going to come and say that things that they are doing now uh, need to comply with the securities laws. So what does it mean if we're talking about a blockchain? Predictability of the cost imply that there is some kind of container on containerized solution within which only this business is operating. No vendor lock-in means that this should be an EVM solution. Connectivity means that 
you also need to create something that is going to be composable, something that can use other applications that are working on the blockchain. No disruption means that users that who are using the product of this business do not need to buy crypto and top up their wallets. Fast iterations means that there should be code snippets, SDKs, great protocols that are supported by many vendors that are supplying this data and information. And this is something that Ilya was touching uh, on the, on the data, data layer. Great service, well, it is hard. And we don't know how to do it. Crypto is very bad at this. But we need to learn through this, right? And compliance, well, we need to go get them licenses, right? That's, that's the hard truth. If we want to work with web tools, we need to get these licenses. And all of these ideas, everything that I was talking about right now, was completely disconnected from, from Aurora. I've started with convictions. I went into what, uh, what do our customers, our future customers, web to need. And now I'm just happy to say that this is exactly what we are building. And this is called Aurora Cloud. So what is Aurora Cloud? Aurora Cloud is a set of tools that are allowing businesses to adopt blockchain technology without disruption. It, it includes EVM containers, or as we call them, Aurora silos. These are dedicated, if you, you can call them app chains, that are available for businesses. They can be private or public. In case of the public networks, these are launched on top of near protocol, and in case not, we're using Cal Calimero, a private sharding solution uh, that is developed inside of the New York ecosystem. Aurora Cloud is connected to the world directly in between the silos because they are able to just cross-contract call each other. Silos are composable because they are just smart contracts that are working on top of near blockchain. And besides that, they are connected by default with the largest blockchain in the world, Ethereum blockchain through the most secure and robust permissionless bridge that exists in the world, and this is Rainbow Bridge. For user onboarding, you either can use Boss or you can use the absolutely new wallet that is suited for Web2 users that is a part of the propo proposition of Aurora Cloud. And this wallet is going to be released li in literally a couple of weeks from now. It is called Aurora Pass. Within this wallet, there is no notion of, of per transaction fees. All of the transactions are executed with biometrics, uh, similarly to how Apple Wallet is working. There is no disruption. The, uh, the, the idea of, of this per transaction fees is pushed down the stack, and the business is able actually to pay for the transactions and for the execution of transactions. Not only their own users, but also businesses are able to create different marketing campaigns, say, this is a free Halloween weekend for everybody from the US. As I said, we are building one of the most complicated smart contracts in the world that have been hosting billions of value in highly liquid assets, and they were not uh, they have not been breaking, broken, and, uh, uh, and they are staying, uh, even now, working 24-7. Our tech is very robust, and uh, we are super proud of this particular feature. Um, and we have a proven track record of delivered projects. Now, I want to give you just one case study of a signed Web2 customer who is paying us for this solution. So this is not something that we're doing for free. This is a client who was coming to us. They understood what they want to do, and they are already onboarding to the Aurora Cloud. This is a European green energy company. Their business is extremely simple. They are taking money. They're investing it in solar panels. They are operating solar panels, getting green energy, and selling it to the grid. It costs a little bit more, and because of this, they are able to get around 14 to 16 percent APY on the investment. Their goal is to democratize energy markets and make it simpler and liquid. Because at the moment, in case you are investing in the uh, in the equity, you are not able to do anything until the liquidity event. And the solution that we are building for them, that is almost built, is pretty simple. 
they, we are able to organize a clean legal setup in UK jurisdictions for them that is going to mean that everything that is happening with their security token that is representing the ownership in this company uh, is okay and is translated um, uh, to the regulators. We're launching with them permissioned public Aurora silo with KYC and AML checks on the boundary. So nobody else, nobody who have, have not been undergoing these checks is able to transact there. There is no transaction fees for their investors because it doesn't make sense for them to have these transaction fees. Uh, we organize a simple uh, sales process for their tokens and the, we are putting there also established AMM smart contracts that are, that are able to create liquid markets for their investors. So in short, this is Aurora Cloud. This is a tool that helps everyone and helps Web2 to transform into the Web3. And uh, uh, all of this is possible because of the NEAR blockchain and the great technologies that are developed together by NEAR and Aurora. Thank you very much.